Now, the next morning, I woke up, and do you know how it is? Things can feel dark at night time. But in the day, the house seemed bright and airy, and we didn't keep oh, early hours. I, I doubt I was much up before noon. And I came down, and there was the breakfast late, and, and I had never met Frederica. But do you know, she was charm herself. We were soon to talking, as natural as natural. And I asked her, do you like living here, Frederica? Ah, oh, well, that is a hard question, for I have always lived here. I, I have never asked myself whether I liked it or not. I am just used to it. But I, I was so sure that um, she needed the air. She needed to go outside. I kept on suggesting we went outside. But you know how it is when you're caught up. You never quite mean to do what you thought you would do. And we sat and we talked and we talked and we thought and we sat. And the sun rose and the sun started to set. Well... Roderick came up and announced, Ah, oh, it's time for dinner, my good people, time for dinner. And there, laid out upon the table, as if it was bought by the by Arabian Nights, I said, or the house itself, I might have muttered. There was a beautiful, succulent feast, and we sat as the lights fa as the sunlight failed, and the oil, as if by magic, seemed to rise from the house itself and the lights were lit and the fire kindled and we sat and talked in that high vaulted hall that looked so like a throat and I said hang on I, I haven't read you my story oh pray do pray do and Frederica nodded her approval well after that there was nothing I could do I went upstairs but you know, it was one of those strange houses. By shadow, it became more threatening. I kept on thinking that I was being watched. But I got my great work, my manuscript, and I, I, I took it downstairs and I opened it. Now, I am writing an Arthurian legend that is designed, I said to them, to show how evil arises when you are not looking for it. And so I wrote this story of the great tragedy of the quest of the Holy Grail. Of how Alfred, Arthur was so high in his majesty he thought that nothing could defeat him, a man who had conquered Rome. And I could see that Frederica was impressed, but Roderick tried to catch my eye. Too much excitement for her. Tell me. She's ill. She's You're ill. just jealous. So I started to act the parts, and just as I was getting at that all important scene, where Lancelot reached for his Guinevere, and my hand might have reached out, suddenly she fell off her seat. And Roderick looked at me with wild eyes and said, Oh, my God, my God, Frederica, I, I, think, I think she's dead. 